When I started Centonomy, I wrote down one statement in my journal. This business shall run without me. And the reason I did it is that this was my third business. And in the first business I started, which was just buying and selling shares on the stock market because that's what I used to do when I was employed, I realized that doing things by yourself where you're the problem solver alone, it is very exhausting. And I think that business, apart from, yes, it was clearly found out it wasn't my passion. I think when I shut it down, it was more of fatigue than reason because I've been through us at Centonomy. So when I look at that and say, was that really a reason to shut down the business? No, because Centonomy has taken me through us. Yeah? And I was in a, involved in another business, but again, it was the same thing. I had partners there, but I felt, again, I'm entering, but together with other people, that pressure of it's on me and that business in particular, what I learned, we were doing a lot of work but getting none of the results. So we would pay everybody else, but in three years we had not even paid ourselves a cent. Nothing, nothing. And again, I got exhausted. So when you're running a business, you can be very passionate about it, but if you don't set it up properly, you will get exhausted. So when I started Centonomy, I said, this business will run without me. And just putting that statement down, I actually said two things. This business, 2009, this business will run without me, and I will write a book. Both have happened. Yeah. You have to visualize what you cannot do first. If your vision is what you can do, then that's just a task. It's a to-do list. Do it. Vision is actually what you cannot do. So I came up with these 10 modules of which maybe I, at best I could teach three properly because that's what the client needed to come out with a holistic plan on their finances. But I looked at what the customer needs. So what the customer needs can sometimes be very different to what you personally can provide. But it doesn't mean you don't do it. It now means you have to think outside of your self and if you run the business in a way that you have to cons and even till today i have to consistently think outside myself and it is so scary because you know it's so comfortable when you think you can do things by yourself isn't it comfortable you don't have to stretch you don't have to hire you don't have to deal with people you don't have to deal with so many things you don't have to involve yourself in partnerships when you when you believe you can do it by yourself but i'm a firm believer is god gives you a seed but you're not the your the journey of that seed becoming a tree is not you alone. I'm a big believer in, as you go do your business, keep investigating your mission. Is it bigger than you? Because if it's bigger than you, then the company will grow. If it's just as big as you, it is limited to your current ideas, your current expectations. And sometimes our expectations can be very small. Passion is important, but passion is not enough. Passion is good, have passion. Because passion fuels you. It's that thing when those days of I can't get out of bed in the morning, somehow it makes you get out of bed. Somehow it makes you, at least even if you didn't manage that day, the next day you get out of bed, that is passion. But you have to have conviction. You can be passionate about something, but do you believe? And what do you believe? You cannot do it alone. Your job is to, along the way, hire people who are better than you. Hire people who are better than you. Yeah? Um, they may not get be, be better than you when they immediately come in, but as you see their potential, allow them to become better than you in that role you thought you were playing. You'll always be good at something, extremely good at something, but that role you are playing, I can now confidently say, no, I'm, I'm possibly, I'm not the best trainer at Centonomy. Because that training role is no longer the key role I am playing in the organization anymore. Yeah? But maybe I'm best at building certain levels of networks. I'm best at strategy. Yeah? But I can let go of being called lead trainer, which is what I used to be called before. Because actually, no, I'm not. I'm not the best trainer. And you know, years ago, I would never have told an audience that. Look, it's been recorded. Maybe put on social media, I'm not the best trainer. Yeah? But what you're playing now, you take a lot of pride in it. You're the best creative, whatever. You're the best marketer for now. But if someone will join you that you can see the potential of them to actually do what you do, let them do it. 